Welcome to Radio WRD, The Real Deal. W-R-D, The Real Deal. And thank you so much to our host, Third Life Studios, and Kelly Donovan. When you've got a show to see, there is just one place to be. Third Life Studio. <laughs> Is coming to symptoms such as stage fright, butterflies in the stomach, anxiety, and elation, and does not guarantee future artistic success. Prices and participation may vary. Please see Kelly Donovan for details. <laughs> Thanks again so much for coming down to the Real Rosie Radio Hour. I'm your host, Rosie the Riveter, and I've got a great show lined up for you. With me, you get the real deal, I can do it attitude that you're looking for. And remember, the wonderful thing about Rosie is I'm the only one. Emergency exit is located in the back of the studio. Please silence your cell phones, sit back, relax, enjoy the show.
Today's headlines, Clinton versus Warren could be a dream match for the GOP. Many Republicans see a challenge by Elizabeth Warren as their party's best hope to weaken and potentially defeat Hillary Rodham Clinton in a contentious Democratic primary. To cover up or not to cover up, Michelle Obama is just the latest in a long line of powerful American women who have greeted Saudi royalty without wearing a veil. Reports that some Saudi bloggers had expressed anger at the First Lady's supposed show of defiance were followed by a chorus of online praise for Mrs. Obama. You do you, Michelle. Another snowstorm may strike Massachusetts this weekend. The storm <laughs> is expected to hit the state during the overnight hours Saturday, continuing through Sunday night. Can your roof handle the snow? How can you clear snow from your roof? How do you know if you have an ice dam? The answers to these questions and more in a few. 29 women who'd probably like to forget they covered Maxim. Too bad the internet never forgets. Hashtag who isn't on the list. Hashtag internet. Hashtag never forget. And if Al tries to reassure mothers that studies rattle them through a non harvard group USA football, the NFL has targeted mothers, many of whom decide which sports their children play to reassure them that football can be played safely with a helmet. MBTA plans to fully reopen. All service by Monday, the transit agency announced a schedule for the reopening of rail segments that have been closed because of snow. Sorry, commuter rail. Is Christian and Anastasia's relationship in Fifty Shades of Grey abusive? Those who have read the book and those who have seen the film might have different opinions as to whether or not the BDSM story glamorizes sexual abuse. We'll discuss our take on sex and romance. Spoilers alert, the militant baker, why people hate Tess Munster and other happy fat people. Tess Munster is a plus size model, makeup artist, body positive activist, and blogger based in LA who turned her hobbies into a successful career. What Tess loves most about her career is the ability to inspire and empower women around the world from transformations with makeup, building confidence through modeling and advocating body size acceptance. Her fans have been the best part of her journey. She recently founded the F Your Beauty Standards movement, which has over 65,000 shares on Instagram alone. We asked girls to answer questions from Guy Code, and it was glorious! Guys may have their own code, but ladies tell it like it is. Tune in later for answers to questions like, how come the penis is the darkest part of the body when it gets the least amount of sun? And, <laughs> <laughs> what, Guy Code dating multiple women? Well, science Cheddar Bay Biscuits are your Cheddar Bay Dads, B-A-E, before anyone else. There are no three words in the English language more delicious than Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Hashtag B-A-E, hashtag Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I think you should go. Why? This is the real rosy radio hour, not some choreographer's showcase. You can't just show up and do whatever you want. Rosie <laughs> <laughs> everything. There's only one real Rosie. But I'm real. Look, I, I don't know who you are or why you're here, but you have to go. I mean, Kelly Donovan and her company are coming on later. Why don't you crush their number? I'm sure they love one of you, Rosie. I don't even know how you got here. And now on the Real Rosie Radio Hour, a caller went from one of my devoted listeners. Live on the Real Rosie Radio Hour, caller, you're on. Hi, Rosie, big fan of your show. Thank you. I just called to say I love your friend. I mean, you're pretty great, but now that there's two of you, the show is so much better. Keep it up, so long. So sweet, thanks so much. It's good to know I'm making a real difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. Uh, I'm happy to introduce my colleague. Rosie. That's my name. Uh. <laughs> There's only one. With me, you get the real deal. I can do it attitude. Actually, in February of 1943, when J. Howard Miller created the iconic image, he meant to simply boost the morale of his fellow Westinghouse employees. Contrary to popular belief, the picture didn't help recruit more women workers for the war effort, who, after the war, were promptly escorted back to their kitchens anyway. <laughs> J. Howard Miller wasn't even trying to depict Rosie the Riveter, but was actually trying to capture the likeness of a real woman in Geraldine Hoff. This image wasn't seen for another four decades. It wasn't until the 1980s that people associated it with feminism and with Rosie the Riveter. You hear an awful thing like that. I read it on Wikipedia. 
<laughs> well, we've got a busy show to get to, and next on the Real Rosie Radio. I wanna be the one to walk in the sun. Oh, girls, they wanna have fun. on Facebook. Catco. Meow. Rosie, all you other fake 
Rosies are just imitating, so won't the real Rosie please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. Tune in next time to the Real Rosie Radio Hour on WRD, The Real Deal. W-R-D, The Real Deal.
Thank <laughs> you. 